Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. It's uh, Friday afternoon, 2 p.m. Uh, this video is coming out tomorrow, so we are running a bit late. I was hoping that we can uh, do all the upgrades that we talked on the last week's hammer video. But uh, we have been just too busy. It was like some holidays. Then I got solar panels installed to our house. house. So a lot of other things. So just running out of time. And we have such a nice assortment of items to be crushed. But uh, I'm afraid that uh, we have been pushing our luck. And the light sensors have already some hits. So we really have to protect the machine before doing this. But I think we can do at least this. This is really thick steel tube. And it's interesting because it feels like impossible to crush mm -hmm. this. Like this. Like how, how goddamn thick is this? Nine millimeters. It feels like completely unrealistic to like push it like soda can like this. Yeah. But then also the uh, 300 ton press has destroyed some of our tools that are around this size and solid mm -hmm. steel. Mm -hmm. So it feels impossible to crush this, but it's also impossible that it doesn't get crushed. Yeah, it's hard to say what happens. Yeah, we don't completely understand the forces yeah. of the press. But uh, I, I want to unbox this. We visited a local like ball bearing shop and they have like corner of like old stuff that nobody wants. And that's, that's our happy place. That's our happy place. We, we got a great deal. I asked like how much these are and they said like uh, they don't know but Probably, uh, they, they say that it's uh, not worth of the electricity to drive back and, yeah. <laughs> and return these if they, uh, we don't like the price. So I think they were, were like really, really cheap. Holy Ooh. shit. Holy fucking shit what we have yeah. done. <laughs> and it was so funny to go there because I remember that we have, we have gotten stuff from that corner yeah. before. And I say it, that I have the feeling of shame in my memory. Mm. Shame of being too afraid <laughs> to take the best things. But holy fucking mm. shit. Look at this. It's humongous. Cool. Yeah, this is going to be a nice one. <laughs> let, let us know, do you want to see first this or first the coffee part too? Yeah. Yeah, then also we have this like giant piston that we were hoping to grasp, but I think this is going to also send some shrapnel. So let's, let's do this next week. And I think we are going to crush this, see how it goes, if it goes. And then I'm going to give the update of all the crazy things that we are uh, getting ready on this month. And I haven't still attached the computer, but uh, we are going to just film, film the screen of the press. So you can see the position and power strength, not the power. Close the door and here we go. Okay, here it goes. Oh, oh. Whoa. No. It starts to, to like bend to the wrong direction. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I machined both ends with the lathe and make sure that it's super straight. So now it shouldn't start to do any fancy things. Yeah, but it was so interesting when it started to change the color. Yeah. Yeah, that was very strange. Yeah, I'm not so afraid anymore. Mm, that, is, that is so much smaller. Yeah, let's, let's put that there to film the numbers, numbers game. I could also use the uh, data capture thing, but I forgot my uh, USB stick at home, so I don't have. It's oh. not easy. Shh. 
Okay, I think our work here is done. Here you can also nicely see how the press uses different pumps. Uh, when the, all the pumps are on, it's full speed and fast, but not very strong. And when it needs more power, it has to switch the pumps off one by one. And then when the load gets lighter, it can turn back pumps. Now it turned back the pump too, and then it again got hard and it shut it off. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I tried to get the computer done so I can just screen capture this and not use the camera. Like uh, six, 70, 75. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> I think it looks quite funny. Yeah, and uh, after last week when we start to fix this, we noticed that there is a really hard hit there. I didn't notice that before, but something something has hit. But it still works, so yeah, got lucky. But uh, we're, here we have some polycarbonate. These are going to be here. I'm going to mold these steel tubes on both sides of this. I messed up those, these should be here. But uh, these are going to be here and the polycarbonate is going to be here. So then it's going to be super sturdy. Then we also bought steel pipes that we are going to use to make legs for these. We just remove these, put legs here and bolt it to the floor. After that, these don't jump with the machine. So it's going to be way better. Then the uh, seismic problem. Uh, we have like quick fix, just some rubber mat. I think that's that's not enough because the machine can now like move. We don't want to bolt it straight to the floor because the amount of force that it wants to go up is huge. So it's going to destroy anything that is like rigid. Uh, we, I think the best solution is the solution where the machine can move however it wants, but it leaves the rest of the world alone. So it doesn't shake the whole goddamn earth, just, just itself. Then it's like free to play, but it doesn't bother neighbors or the electronics or whatever. Then, hey, this, I, I talked about this long time ago, 360 degree camera. We already did some crushing with this, and I think this is going to be super nice. Super nice, for example, on the bearings. This would capture the, like the uh, lamp killer asteroid already. So, good to get that now. Then what else? Then, yeah, these, I bought some pipes. We are going to make telescopic attachments to the roof for the lights, that we can pull those thin steel pieces or clamp. So we can put the lights wherever we want here, but they are not on the floor. And I didn't have to buy expensive filming gear. Then uh, you probably realize that there is quite a lot of like uh, holders for the LED lights. Uh, we are just waiting electricity, electricity guy, what do you call that? Electricity guy to hook those up and then we get like three more kilowatts of light and also heat here. Yeah, it's quite warm. Yeah. yeah, but it's, it's like going on nicely. And hey, hmm? uh, next Tuesday, I think I made a community post, but I didn't mention on video. We bought industrial robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are going to use it as an like cinema robot. So when there's like interesting things happening and you cannot be here, the robot can still like move and operate the camera. So that's super nice. And also we can use it on like do also any other task than hold the camera. And uh, Hanna got the really bright idea to put rails on the roof and hang the robot from the roof because it only weighs 100 kilos. <laughs> only 100 kilos. <laughs> and the roof is totally overkill at the moment. But that's a happy accident that we used way too much steel. 
because now it can hold the robot easily. And that's super cool. We don't have anything in the floor, so it's easy to clean. And when we don't use the robot, we can just like lift it up or it can lift itself up. Uh, we already decided that the name is Pop the Pot. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, probably, uh, is it like cousin of Gale Pop No Pants? Yeah, it's the cousin. Yeah, this is going to be full of pops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but so this was a bit like um, just getting ready for our next adventures week. But that steel pipe was really interesting still and scary. But next week is going to be probably way more scary than this. So subscribe to the channel to see that. And that is all for today. Thank, Thank you for watching. <laughs> and have a nice day. <laughs>